Welcome to the neonatal services for newborn babies at Barking, Havering and Redbridge Hospitals. Based on the Level 2 Neonatal Intensive Care Unit in Queen's Hospital, Romford, and at the Level 1 Special Care Baby Unit in King George Hospital, Ilford, we're dedicated to offering the best care possible to newborns and their families. In NICU, our aim as a team is to try and make parents' experience as smooth as possible. And at the same time, we also try to give highest possible standard of the care to babies that they deserve. Both neonatal units offer the most technologically advanced therapies and equipment that help us care for babies from the acute stage right through to post-operative. Our ethos is based on clinical excellence in neonatal care that involves parents and families in the care of their newborn babies from the moment of delivery right up to the baby's discharge. First impressions of the unit, um, very daunting, scary. It is really scary to start with and you do feel quite alone, um, but it does get better. Even as a, as a nurse coming in here when you're not used to it, it is really scary. But we are all really friendly, we are all really approachable and we're not just there for the babies, obviously we are there to support the parents and to give them support and encouragement and to explain everything. We involve them in the baby's care, we involve them in the baby's management and plan of care so they feel that they are more involved. They were really reassuring, reassuring very everything, truthful. Everything they didn't, they yeah. told us that they done. They didn't, they didn't sort of sugarcoat anything, they just told us what could happen, what will happen and you know, that they'll do their very best to, uh, to make sure that our baby's okay and they certainly did that. <laughs> if I knew what I know today, I don't think I would have ever been as scared as I was. Located in the centre of Romford and close to many important transport links to and from local boroughs, Queen's Hospital offers state-of-the-art facilities. The Neonatal Intensive Care Unit is situated on the first floor of Queen's Hospital, next door to the maternity units. This allows easy and convenient access between mothers and their babies and enables maternity and neonatal staff to work together efficiently to ensure we give the best care possible. Our unit is situated very close to maternity unit, that is labor ward, so our team can be readily available if the need be. When babies are admitted at their most critical stage, they're initially cared for in the intensive care part of the unit. Most intensive neonatal cases require ventilation or breathing support that's essential for the baby's survival and well-being. In total we have 39 cots facility here. Out of that, 11 are intensive care. At a given time, we can accommodate seven intensive care babies. We have all the facilities, skills and expertise to deal with that sort of workload. When these critical babies become better and require less intensive care, they're moved on to high dependency and special care. Special care is the lowest level of neonatal care given to a sick baby. Babies at this stage are more stable are making steady progress and will soon be ready for discharge. The next stage for the parents is they will be able to be hands-on, um, they participate more in the parent class, looking at the baby, uh, bonding um, and also doing um, um, bathing the baby, bottle feeding. The neonatal units have a team of family care coordinators who are responsible for facilitating the timely discharge of babies taking into account the special needs of each family and how their needs can be met in the community. They work closely with the community outreach sisters who will then provide direct neonatal care at home. Part of my role would be uh, making sure parents have the skills to care for their babies following discharge and some of those children might have quite complex needs such as needing oxygen at home or tube feeding and we make sure that the parents are confident to care for them before we discharge them. We have some facilities here for the parents to hopefully make it a less clinical environment. So we have rooms that they can stay in overnight. These are usually used just before going home to help them make the transition from uh, hospital to home and they have a kitchen and they would look after the babies themselves with just us in the background. When we come home, obviously Mason come home on oxygen um, as a result of him being prim, he's got um, chronic lung disease. So the care was outstanding. We had someone round nearly every day. After the discharge, when we come home, um, the community nurse would come out weekly. And then there's little support groups that um, we could go to. Plenty, um, plenty for us to, yeah. share, to share our, you know, or if we was upset or anything and needed to talk, there was, there was everyone there for us. There is loads of support. 
just got to ask. Mason now, after going through what he went through, and he's uh, grown into a fantastic little boy, he's into everything. He's part of the family and he always, he's lovely, isn't he? Just glad you made it. <laughs>